Hey there foodies and home chefs, welcome back to Press to Cook. I'm Dale and today we've got a frosty topic on the menu. We're diving into the world of Fisher and Pakel fridges, specifically tackling those pesky ice maker issues. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel and ensures you never miss out on our kitchen tips and tricks. Now let's get to the bottom of these ice maker mysteries. First up, let's talk about the basics of your Fisher & Paykel fridge. These appliances are known for their sleek design and innovative features, but like any piece of tech, they can run into some hiccups. One common issue many of you have mentioned is with the ice maker not producing ice. So, what gives? Let's start by checking the obvious. Is your ice maker turned on? It might seem simple, but sometimes the switch can get bumped or turned off accidentally. Make sure it's in the on position and that the ice bin is properly seated. Next, let's look at the water supply. If your ice maker isn't getting water, it's not going to produce ice. Check the water line and make sure it's not pinched or blocked. You'll also want to ensure that the water valve is open. If you're seeing any leaks or blockages, those need to be fixed ASAP. Another common issue is the water filter. If it's clogged or old, it can restrict the flow of water to your ice maker. Most manufacturers recommend changing the water filter every six months. If you haven't done that in a while, it might be time for a replacement. So you've done all that and still no ice. Let's talk about the temperature settings. Your freezer needs to be cold enough to freeze water into ice. Ideally, it should be set to around zero degrees Fahrenheit, minus 18 degrees Celsius. If it's too warm, your ice maker won't be able to do its job. Check your settings and adjust if necessary. Now let's dive into some deeper troubleshooting. If your ice maker is still giving you trouble, it could be an issue with the ice maker itself. Sometimes the components inside can wear out or fail. You might need to reset the ice maker, look for a reset button, or consult your user manual for specific instructions on how to do this for your model. If resetting doesn't work, it might be time to inspect the ice maker's motor and gears. These parts can sometimes get jammed or wear out. If you're comfortable with DIY repairs, you can try taking the ice maker apart to check for any obvious issues. Otherwise, it might be time to call in a professional. Another thing to consider is the defrost system. If your freezer has a lot of fr frost buildup, it can block the ice maker from working properly. Make sure your freezer is defrosting correctly. If you see a lot of frost or ice buildup, you might need to manually defrost your freezer. Now let's talk about some preventative measures. Regular maintenance can help keep your ice maker running smoothly. Make sure to clean your ice maker periodically. This includes removing any old ice and wiping down the inside of the ice bin. Keeping your freezer at the right temperature and ensuring good airflow can also help prevent issues. And don't forget to check your water filter regularly. A clean filter means better tasting ice and fewer problems with your ice maker. Alright folks, that's a wrap on our comprehensive guide to Fisher and Paykel fridge ice maker issues. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're now armed with the knowledge to tackle any ice maker problems that come your way. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more kitchen tips and tricks. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video. Thanks for tuning in to Press to Cook. I'm Dale and I'll see you in the next one. Stay cool and keep cooking.